करेंसी प्री मार्केट एनालिसिस पे आप सभी का स्वागत है आज है आपका टेंथ ऑफ अप्रैल 2022 एंड आई एम योर होस्ट डॉलर इंडेक्स अभी 104.12 आज इवनिंग में इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड टाइम 6 पीएम पे आपका यूएस के डेटा है फॉलोड बाय मिडनाइट में आपका एफएमसी यूएसी इसके ऊपर मार्केट एंजॉय कर रहा है फॉलोड बाय कल के दिन में कल 5:45 ये पे आपका सीबी का रेट डिसीजन है सो दीस आर द इंपॉर्टेंट इवेंट्स जिसके कारण अभी डॉलर इंडेक्स एज वेल एज यूरो डॉलर में एक अच्छा खासा इंस डायरेक्शंस आफ्टर द इवेंट हम एक्सपेक्ट कर सकते हैं सब्जेक्ट टू द डेटा पॉइंट सो डॉलर इंडेक्स अभी क्या बोल रहे हैं यहां पे हमारा जो इंपॉर्टेंट डेटा पॉइंट है ये है थर्सडे पिछले थर्सडे 4th ऑफ अप्रैल का लो दैट इज 103.90 एंड Friday, that means your 5th of April ka high, that is your 104.70. These two are the important data points. Either uh, break down below this one, may give a rally downwards, or breaking above higher sides, may face the next level of resistance, that is at 105 to 105.13. So we need to see after the uh, is, uh, your uh, USC pay data, what sort of uh, means market is moving in which direction. GBP dollar similarly what you saw is that yesterday you saw some sort of uh, appreciations in GBP because of which the intraday high was 1.2709 as per our analysis Thursday's high and uh, Friday's low these are the two important data points uh, so breaking above and sustaining above Thursday's high may take GBP dollar further higher yesterday we saw the price moved higher but couldn't sustain above this uh, Thursday high the, and again pull back inside the range. So, abhi apka jo US CPA data hai, uske baad hi GBP dollar mein ek particular mm, means, uh, means we need to see whether it is coming out of this range and moving higher or not. GBP INR similarly, uh, it, yesterday we saw some sort of appreciations in GBP INR, uh, but uh, um, that that's, uh, couldn't sustain on the higher sides. Now that uh, we need to see after the US CPA data whether Thursday high or Friday is low, which particular data points is challenged. Euro dollar, Euro dollar uh, just yesterday, what we saw that, that the Thursday's high was challenged but couldn't sustain above the high. Uh, what we noticed from the price actions that it traded high of 1.0885 but retraced back and closed at 1.0856 within the range. The what range? The Thursday's high and Friday's low within that range it closed. Now, uh, today, tonight uh, US CPA data as well as uh, your Thursday 11th of uh, April's uh, ECB rate decisions uh, are the crucial data point. Although at this ECB rate decisions, uh, it is expected that uh, there is be status quo, but uh, we need to see whether June there is any indication for softening the interest rate scenario as far as the ECB is concerned. Next is Euro INR. Euro INR uh, that our Thursday high and Friday's low is intact and not yet challenged on either directions. That being the case, uh, sideways consolidation is expected until and unless uh, either side of the two important Details are uh, challenged and uh, moved in that direction or not. So now comes to dollar yen. Dollar yen is consolidating at the uh, all time high that is 152. Current rate is at 151.76. Sideways consolidation is a concern at an important resistance level. So until and unless BOJ is uh, doing something, initiating some uh, uh, means uh, yen appreciative measures uh, till that time, uh, neither it will move higher because there is a fear of BOJ interventions, nor it will appreciate uh, means uh, nor yen will appreciate down means towards uh, 147. So consider consolidation let it to happen we need to wait for breakout of the consolidation once the consolidation is over there will be a breakout so this such a price actions cannot sustain for an indefinite period of time that means the consolidation cannot take place for an indefinite period of time somewhere it has to break out whether it is breaking out on the higher side or breaking down on the lower side we need to wait and watch Yen INR similarly on the lower side it is trying to break below that one but uh, again we need to see whether any sort of uh, BOJ intervention is there or not although 
for a quite long period, uh, we have not seen any such measures from the digital side. Then dollar candy consolidation is going on on the higher side, 1.361, 1.3630 uh, on the higher side and on the lower side, 1.3. Zero, let the consolidation be there and uh, tonight i think uh, yes tonight uh, the boc rate decision is also there so until unless the sideways means it is breaking out of the range that uh, means the volatility and so within this range is expected let it to come out of the range then and only then we can see we can look for we can think for some uh trended move uh, austria teller now at a one point uh, six six Two, five, uh, the, uh, that means it is within the zone that is marked by the green channel. So let it to come out of this range. Then and only then we can expect for some trended move. CNH 7.2385, slight minute appreciation seen in E1, uh, means, uh, but uh, we need to constantly monitor this one. It should not, uh, means the uh, depreciation beyond seven. Else it is going to go for one dollar rupee. Now it's coming to brand crude future. Brand crude future yesterday we saw some sort of uh, uh, misses softening in brand crude from an intraday high of 91.14. It traded low of 89.79 as far as the brand future is concerned and closed at 90.01. And um, now what next? What next means yesterday's candle is a inverted hammer candle, means it's a negative candle. So on lower time frame means we expect some sort of if a lower time frame means hourly for hourly if a uh, there is a breakdown of the support level that we can expect some sort of a selling interest in this instrument. Next is your uh, US 10 treasury. So US 10 treasury yesterday we saw means uh, selling from the highs from an intraday high of 4.43. It traded low 4.35 and closed there at 4.366. So currently the important data point is our USD pay data as well as the FOMC minutes. We skip about it then we can think about something. US to similarly the US to a treasury from an intraday high of uh, 4.80 it rated low 4.728 and finally closed at 4.743. Currently it is at 4.739. So uh, yeah, we need to wait for the data. Thereafter we need to see whether this trend line support is broken on the lower side, down, downward side or uh, again it is challenging the resistance levels. So we need to see. And finally is our dollar to paper. Dollar to paper currently it is at uh, 83.19. Since the uh, dollar index is uh, missed sideways for last few days, uh, CNH is also under control. And so rupee is also appreciated. After uh, that 4th of April, that currency future open positions got squared off uh, forcefully because whoever was having um, that means open positions in currency futures uh, not based back by the underlying they are forced to squared off their positions although the relaxations that uh, it is extended till 3rd of may uh, means but most of the players uh, squared off their open positions and his open positions which led to an intraday high of uh, Means on the higher side of 83, so but subsequently again it started uh, moving downward. Currently it is at 83.20, that being the case. On the lower side, our range is 80 to 80, 82.83.00, and on the higher side, 83.50 to 83.70 is expected to be the uh, your important resistance, major important uh, supports and resistance levels. So till the, <clears throat> any major changes are uh, uh, taking place, dollar rupee is expected to behave within this range, and uh, this particularly for the uh, from our currency pre-market analysis. But hope uh, this presentation is of great help to you guys. Uh, if so, like, share, and comment, and wishing you all a great day.